Hi, it's Forces for Change, back with another Want TV Takeover. I'm Zariah, and joining us today are Olivia and Faith. Today's episode is to help any student who may have questions about AP courses make decisions for scheduling next year. First, we can go over creating your schedule for next year. I'm aware we have already gone to our guidance counselors about our schedules, but it's not too late to change anything you might have last minute thoughts on. One thing people often graze over is taking higher level classes or AP classes. If you want to take on the challenge, please do not be afraid to talk with your guidance counselor about taking a higher level class to see if you're eligible. If you are already planning on taking the AP course and want to know what it's like to take one, well then you're in luck today because all three of us take an AP class. I take AP US History, also known as A-Push. I also take A-Push. I also take A-Push, and I take AP English Language and Composition. How did you find out about AP courses, and what made you decide to take AP classes? Before I transferred to the school, I was in a different school in my freshman year, and I was taking regular classes. But when I switched into um, uh, Franklin, then I um, was seeing, like, you know, what classes can I take? And when I was scheduling it with my guidance counselor, she noticed that my grades were actually eligible for honors courses. And I wasn't able to take AP courses that year, but um, now that I'm in my junior year, since I was in honors last year, then I was eligible for AP courses this year. So I've personally found out about AP courses because last year I had all honors classes, so I wanted to challenge myself and the next one higher was an AP class. Um, the AP class that I'm taking now involves a lot of writing and I was interested in writing, so I thought that would be a good way to go. Similar to you, I found out about AP classes just like going to the next level, um, taking honors classes. Um, and I decided to take an AP class because I felt like it was just the right push for me to become more equipped to um, getting ready for college and things like that. What was your experience like taking AP classes this year? Well, my experience was that it's a lot of work, so you have to be ready for that. And I felt like it was a really good experience because it was different than an honors course, and it definitely prepares you for to think about what you want to do in college and in the future. A lot of people talk about how challenging the workload can be in AP classes. How did you manage your workload? Uh, you know, I do remember in the beginning of the year just seeing all of the topics that we would go over and I definitely felt overwhelmed in the beginning, but as time goes by, I realized that you know, even though the class is quick paced, you definitely learn very quickly how to um, move with the pace of the class. Did you feel that you were prepared for the AP exam? Uh, I would personally say that I could have been more prepared. I think ways that I could have been more prepared was that since I am I'm taking a push, it's such a broad thing that the test could be about. So as you go on every day and learning about it, also try to study and retain information like that, and it will definitely help taking the test. And though you have to remain on your you have to rely on yourself to study for AP for the AP exam. You can also look at College Board to find any review videos, and you can also just ask your teacher any questions that you have regarding what's going to be on the test. Now, what did you find rewarding about taking AP classes? What I really found rewarding about taking my AP class was that it was a new experience from taking an honors. It was a big step, especially the workload. But what I also found rewarding is that if I did pass the test, that the recent test we just took, then I will be getting college credit. So I find that would be helpful for the future. Just in one year, I noticed how much of a difference um, taking an AP course so it's kind of just preparing you for that and I feel like having that experience at a younger age so that once you get there you're not overwhelmed by the difference between you know regular high school courses and when you go to college and taking college course. Both Faith and Olivia talked about preparation for college. I definitely can agree with them. I took AP US History to prepare for a history major in college so yeah. You never know what it's truly like to take an AP or honors class until you try it. And if you realize it's something you truly believe you can't deal with, you can ask your guidance counselor to switch to a lower level class in the first marking period of the school year. 
Speaking with your guidance counselor when you have any questions or need overall assistance is extremely important and helpful. Now I know talking to your guidance counselor may not be something many students are excited about, but guidance counselors are here to help you and can be a great resource if you have any questions about AP classes, as well as volunteer opportunities, scholarships, scheduling, and college prep. All of these topics are so important when thinking about your future. To learn more about the topics we discussed in this episode, talk to your guidance counselor. Thank you, Juan TV, for hosting Voices for Change today. I'm Zaria, this is Faith and Olivia, and if you have any questions about Voices for Change, we meet on Thursdays in room C123. Have a nice day.